yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sisu here, bringing us the other top of designs of the week, week number 12. So of course, as always guys, make sure you guys submit for week number 13. I uh, literally have nothing to lose whatsoever, I say it every single week, but I always see you guys in the comments below being like, yo, I, I thank god I didn't submit, or never submitting, look at these entries, and it's just like, bros, I guarantee you, those guys uh, who of course won in the previous, probably said the same thing, or even didn't say the same thing, because they know that they can better themselves just by practicing and stuff like that, so I would really advise you guys to use this platform for something for yourself and of course you might never know you might just get in here who the hell knows you really don't know unless you keep trying or try at least once you never you never really know so hope you guys enjoy your week all that cool stuff make sure you guys treat all the winners as you'd like to be treated if you guys win yourselves so of course follow all the winners and let me know in the comments below who was your favorite as always guys i'll talk to you guys later so let's you out peace all right, guys, top three designs of the week, week number 12. Number three spot goes to the 3D modeler slash manipulator known as Vitaly Haverly UK or Haverly UK. I, f I hope, can I, can I, did I get close at least? This is like my third try <laughs> trying to say this name. Um, you don't know that, but it's my third try. Um, So yeah, I apologize for like, you know, butchering your name, but however, it does not take away from your beautiful art. So you set this really cool winter's pine tree, plus these like cool little crystallizing, uh, you know, crystals. Um, You actually have this kind of like thing manipulated a couple times in your actual work um maybe maybe it's a signature i have no clue however it's freaking awesome freaking dope so simple depth of field i love the colors you use like a really cool red on this like really almost like backlit blue kind of color correction looks really awesome big fan and of course his instagram happens to be his uh portfolio as well besides his behance uh being the same exact name instagram.com or behance.com slash Vitaly Harvely Uke or something. Yo, bro. And then you can see in the bottom right, okay? You can see that in the bottom right. So please give him a follow on Instagram, all that cool stuff. Um, Currently, I'm looking at 11.7K followers, which is freaking... Like, is there a thing? Is there like a formula if you post dailies on Instagram, you immediately just get like 10K followers? If so, your boy wants to be a part of it. No. However, you have really freaking awesome abstract work. I, I see you like like the nature. You like... I, I feel like you like outside a lot, but you're also good at doing these really cool, like almost like computer CPU kind of things as I see. I know it's like abstract. However, I see this cool little computer like CPU kind of stuff going on here. Freaking extremely awesome. I really, really advise you guys to go check this dude out. Instagram.com slash why do I keep like why do I keep doing this myself? Vitaly Harvely Uke. Um hopefully it's somewhat correct. Uh so yeah, make sure you guys go follow him on like cool stuff and like maybe you should comment on one of his Instagram photos and be like, yo, Sesso brought me here just so I know how many guys actually went there because I like to go check back with uh, every once in a while. So yeah, make sure you guys go follow him and uh thanks so much for submitting. All right, next up, top of the designs of the week, week number 12, number two spot goes to the social media designer known as Era Jabri. I believe I'm saying that one right because his Twitter happens to be twitter.com slash Jerombre. So like, you know, they kind of go hand in hand anyway. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, he sent this really cool Metallica themed 3D header design. Now, if you don't know who Metallica is, it happens to be an American heavy metal band formed in Los Angeles, California. I didn't just look it up. No, I did not. I knew what Metallica was. I just wanted to make sure I knew the genre of band. Like, so I looked it up, okay? Just don't, yeah, okay, anyway, so. As you can see, it's really freaking awesome. The theme overall is extremely, extremely accurate. I looked up, you know, Metallica and stuff like that, kind of like what their theme is all about. And it's it looks heavy metal. It looks freaking awesome. It looks very, very well done. Almost looks kind of vintage as well. I love the actual, you know, versions of the, uh, not versions, the persons of the, you know, actual band inside incorporated. Really, really awesome. Um, love the kind of like, you know, it's also black and white, of course, but it also has this really cool grainy look. Absolutely sick. Now his social media, however, or excuse me, not his social media, his portfolio is freaking awesome. Awesome, okay, it's, it's literally beautiful. He has like a, a mix between 3d and 2d definitely a really cool dark style Like I love you guys know how much I freaking love like the atmosphere which is super super dark all that crazy stuff So it looks really good. I'm a very big fan of myself And so if you guys want to make sure you guys go follow him make sure you guys go follow him twitter.com Slash Jerombre if you don't want to follow him for his work at least follow this man for his Twitter. Okay, that sounds terrible But let's be honest all right, guys, top three designs of the week, week number 12, number one spot goes to the social media designer known as Raven. Now, this guy sent in a really cool DMTZ header design with another yet really cool dark atmospheric theme. Now, however, that's not the reason why I even like his headers. Like, I, you guys know how much I love the dark schemes, but this is just like... It, how do you say? It? Okay, so I don't want to say depth of feel because I don't know if that's the right term. However, I'm gonna say like depth within his header designs if that makes more sense. Um, it just looks so gosh dang good. So if you look at it, you kind of have this sense 
of like real honest like depth like almost holes in the actual header design if you just look at it okay like even his portfolio is freaking hella accurate to what i just said so you can see his portfolio by the way his freaking logo is also really awesome like congratulations to that one that was really awesome um so yeah, his actual, uh, you know, his actual portfolio, he has this really cool, also, this like, the first header, the DZ one, uh, it just looks freaking, it, I love it, you know? It reminds me of that, like, old scheme, like, that old, like, like, kind of, like, what was it called, like, the pattern overlay, where you kind of put, like, an inner shadow with, like, patterns in it, the, the dot ones, kind of looks like a ventilation, I kind of saw that going on there, it looks freaking awesome, kind of like a, a back, a, what is it called, flash to the, back to the, what the, how does it go, back to the flash, flash to the back, flash back, um, yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say, however, I don't, anyway, it's freaking awesome, I love the color scheme, by the way, as well, just, it's just super, super clean, his portfolio is very short, very simple, he has some of his best work in there, which should be what your portfolio is, you know, it's not a whole bunch of random stuff in there, it could be something, his best, best, best work, and I love it, because the quality of the actual portfolio was really, really awesome, really on point, and I really, really could not give this guy, why not, why not give this guy first place, very, very worthy of it, anyways, Twitter is twitter.com slash ravendz, and so make sure you guys go tweet at him, and be like, yo, bro, you placed, you won, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so that wraps up, of course, week 12 for this week. So, of course, be, be sure to like freaking submit, bros, peeps, everything. Like, I saw, like, at least, let me see, yeah, let's be honest. So, three other people could have made it this week. It was really awesome. They were really, really, really freaking close. It was like one of those things where it's just like, you know, which one? I, I, so just please submit, of course. Every week you should submit, even if you think it's terrible, it's bad, if, if you just don't think you're good enough, you've at least eliminated one of two of your problems, you're, you're scared for rejection or scared for, you know, not being good enough, however, you just submit, there goes one of your problems away, and then the next one, all you gotta do is just practice, 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 and of course, you can see your progression, um, because realistically, you should probably maybe save your weekly submissions of my, you know, series, and then like, you could look at yourself last week, were you better, were you worse, kind of thing, use it as a really cool gauge tool, and I hope you guys enjoy your week, Cecil HQ out, peace.